Hello everyone, let's have a look at my new Jim Root Fender Telecaster. I got this one at a bargain price. So yeah, let's check it out. So, a little bit of backstory. Me and my fiance and my best friend were out having beers and I saw this on my phone basically selling for a super cheap price on our version of eBay. And I kind of showed her like, oh, this is going for a crazy good price. And basically what she did was grab my head, turn it around and ask me, do you really want it? And I said, of course I want it. It's a Jim Root Telecaster, of course I want it. And she basically took my phone pushed by now and uh, after that yeah a couple of days later it arrived so i wanted this guitar for a couple of years now actually but never had a reason to really buy it uh except for that case where i actually got it bought for me as a gift so uh yeah let's check it out let's check it out so let's run through the specs of this guitar let's start off with the body the body is mahogany it has flat white satin finish. Now this finish tends to go glossy after a while, uh, after it being played. Now this being used, it's already starting to turn a little bit yellow and actually a little bit more glossy. I don't mind it at all actually, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, one ply black pickguard, three toggle switch, one volume, pretty straightforward. What I actually really like is the hardtail uh, bridge that has like these block saddles. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, they feel great when playing. Really good, really good. I really like them. Uh, yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. On the back, we have an access plate uh, where you can change the battery for the pickups. And it's a string through body type of thing. And it has this cutaway for the neck, which is really nice, actually. Uh, yeah, super straightforward. Not that heavy. Actually, I thought it would going to be heavier because of the mahogany body. Maybe I can put up the number of the weight uh, so you guys can see. So let's talk about the pickups. The pickups are EMGs, 81 and 60, 81 in the bridge, 60 in the neck. I really don't like EMG pickups overall, so it's a bit of a weird purchase for me, actually. Um, but I really like the guitar, so the thing with these pickups are that it's extremely compressed. You guys know this already with EMG pickups, especially, I mean, this set, uh, extremely compressed. It has basically no dynamics at all. And I mean, the problem I have is mainly pick attack, right? I feel like a guitar should have more dynamics and just the pick attack, it doesn't really matter if you pick it hard or pick it like soft, it's basically comes out sounding the same. And uh, yeah, it takes a while to get used to. Now, what I'm gonna say is that playing clean stuff on these pickups are incredibly nice, actually. It's, I was surprised, it's uh, very clean almost artificially digitally clean. Uh, could be good, could be bad, I don't really know. Uh, it takes a while to get used to. It's a very different from passive pickups where I usually, you know, say stuff like it's really warm, but these are heavily compressed. I mean, they're good for one thing and that's usually metal because uh, you kind of have to stay consistent with the tone at all times. And it's usually like the same amount of attack at all times. But for the music I play, I don't really use it like that. And I don't know if I'm even going to keep these pickups, actually. But uh, let's have a listen. <laughs> So let's have a look at the neck. The neck is a maple neck. It has locking tuners. Staggered, I think they are as well, but it still features a string tree. 
uh, which you usually don't need to have if you haven't staggered. It's a 25.5 inch scale length, you know, the standard fender thing. Uh, modern C shape, uh, it's 12 inch radius and it has 22 medium jumbo frets and an ebony fretboard. Uh, synthetic, bone nut. Uh, overall, overall, I really like the neck. Though I'm no shredder by any means, uh, it just feels great to play. What I've noticed is a little bit of fret sprout, but I feel like that's quite common actually on Mexican guitars. Also, this guitar is also used, so maybe it hasn't been in the best ideal conditions. Uh, it's not something I think about that much when playing. I don't think I even need to get it fixed. Uh, overall, it's a really nice neck. I really like it. It's actually one of the better players I have of all my Telecasters, for sure. As for accessories, there's one nice thing about this guitar and all the Jim Root guitars that you buy, actually. It's the case that it comes with. It's a black tweed case. I would assume it's black. It says black on the website. Kind of looks black and white to me. Um, let's open it up and you can have a look inside. And, oh my god, it's red plush inside. Looks super awesome. I'm probably going to show you guys how it looks uh, with the guitar in it as well. Uh, I'm going to put up a video, but that's just a nice thing. And a lot of companies now have started to move away from the whole hard case thing. But I think if you buy a guitar for, I don't know, a lot of money, at least thousand dollars I feel like it should come with a hard case yeah so uh, that's super beautiful case I like it a lot So what are my final thoughts about this guitar? Overall, it plays really well. Overall, a really good instrument. I know it's made in Mexico and people might be a little bit annoyed by that, especially because of the price of this thing right now. As of today, uh, in 2022, it's extremely pricey. It's, I don't know, $1,500, something like that. Uh, and I don't think it was sold at that price before. It's at least $500 or something like that. More expensive than it used to be. Uh, you know, everything that's happening in the world right now, that's just how it is. But if you keep your eyes open, um, you can find one for $700, which I found this guy for. And yeah, that's a really good price. Try to find them used if you can. I, I usually buy all my guitars used and try and find good deals. Just sit around and wait for the right moment to strike and you find a nice guitar for a really good price. So now, am I gonna keep this guitar? Well, yes, but I'm gonna change out the pickups because the main problem I had is that my ears fatigued after playing this with any type of distortion for quite a while. You know, if I played it for 10, 15 minutes, it was great. I mean, but the novelty wore off quite fast and I just started getting tired of hearing like overly compressed sound like that and it just didn't work for me. Uh, so I got this pickup set uh, the, what was it called, 57, wow, 57 and 66 set. I've heard a lot of good things about these. Uh, a lot of people say it's the best uh, pickups that EMG currently releases. There's some interesting new ones, of course, um, but I thought I could check these out and hopefully the quick connect system that's available on this and all EMG guitars nowadays uh, it's basically just a quick swap, right? Just a chord and be done. So I'm gonna try those out. Let me know if you want to hear a comparison. Uh, write a comment down below and I'll make sure to make that happen. Uh, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Now, what I want to know from you guys, do you play EMG pickups? Do you like them? And if you play them, do you only play metal on them? Or stuff like that? Because uh, I want to know if people play other genres on it. Because I can only think that it sounds good for metal, to be honest. Uh, yeah, let me know. And also, if there are any other pickups that I should try out on this, maybe switch them out for Fishman Fluence or something. I have no idea. Let me know. Write a comment in the thing down below. And uh, yeah, I think that's it, guys. If you have any comments about this guitar, 
or any questions for that matter about this guitar or any of the other things I have in my uh, little room here, please let me know, write me a comment or uh, send me a DM somewhere on the interwebs. Yeah, I think that's it guys. Talk soon.